guys, how are you? All right, we are back with yet another lesson for my year 2017. And this time I thought we would do a little sketchy lesson. So, <clears throat> of course, as you know, or you maybe you don't know, the theme for the My Year 2017 program that we have going on for this month of May is Think Spring slash Tip It In. And we're encouraging you to tip th additional things into your journal, brighten it up by using spring colors, spring flowers, whatever reminds you of spring or evokes that feeling of spr that spring sometimes gives of a fresh start, a bright new day, yes. So here I wanted to do a, um, a sketch. We've, we've done this flower before where we've done a pencil sketch, but I had a new way I wanted to try it that we're going to try right now. And this is a technique that I not only have done before, in a class with Pauline Agnew, but recently Cinnamon Cooney did something similar on her channel. Um, and the idea is to use lots of sketchy lines to uh, evoke your shape and um, the feeling of it and not to lift your pen up. I know, right? So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go this way. So you can see what I'm doing and see the flower. This flower is in our um, photo album of reference photos, Inspire Me, over um, in the file section, in the photo section, under out, go to albums and then go to Inspire Me and you'll find this picture there along with a whole bunch of other ones. All right, you ready? Okay, we're gonna start with the flower center and now that I've started, now I can't, I can't lift my pen up. <laughs> so I'm going to create the flower center in a way that I think I want to create it. Did you catch that? I left to lift my pen up a little bit. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Um, there's no time limit. You can take your time doing this. Uh, you know, do it however um, works for you. But I would like for you to think about, you know, giving this a try and trying to um, challenge yourself to make a drawing. in this particular way. And you know, the other thing that I lifted my pen up again, uh, I'm so bad at this anymore, I'm out of practice, that Pauline Agnew will tell you is to spend more time looking at the reference photo than at, at what you're actually drawing. In fact, one of the lesson, first lessons I took from her, um, she told you not to look at the um, drawing at all, which was interesting. And I've actually done my face this way. <laughs> Boy, that was really crazy. <laughs> I've done my face and my hand and a bunch of different things. Now this is the Pilot Varsity Disposable Fountain Pen. It is uh, water soluble. So you could go in here afterwards and you could get some water in here and move, move the ink around a bit to add to your shadows if you wanted. And I'm not going to tell you not to do that. Cinnamon Cooney um, video, I'll link it in the description. Um, she actually did faces, um, which is just, she did a great job. I loved, I loved what she did. So we'll link, I'll link it in the description. If I forget somebody, remind me. So how fun is that? Now, because this is water soluble ink, if you wanted, you could get a brush. As soon as I find one, here we go. This is just a small flat brush. And this is watercolor paper, and this is, you don't have to do this part. But I do happen to love how this ink looks when you do do this. Um, 
I don't want to get it so wet that I lose all the pen lines, but you, this ink is really hard to do that with. And how fun would that be to do something really quick like that to add to your journals? So I want you to play, I want you to experiment, I want you to have fun. Um, draw from a reference photo, go out into the sunshine and draw flowers in your backyard, go to a local park, um, but just practice and draw or paint. You really don't need anything else than a black pen and a piece of paper. Um, and then an optional thing would be a water brush. Obviously if you're outside you can't take a bucket, well you could take a bucket of water with you, but the easier thing would be to take a water brush filled with water. And just these three things and you could create something really interesting and unique. So go out and have some fun. If you don't know what my year 2017 is and at this point you're like what the heck is she talking about that was a cute flower but I don't know what she's talking about <laughs> um, it's an online Facebook group that I teach it's a group a year-long journaling course that I'm teaching with friends it's free it's in Facebook and you just need to request to join uh, if you would like to join that group or my other group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, you'd like to support my channel by shopping in the Etsy shop, you want to send me happy mail, you want to email me, all of the instructions for how to do all of that stuff are in the description below, so please check it out. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you could, and the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Get some fresh air, draw some pretty flowers, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.